Elder God, free Assange, free Assange. Felix Chicho, when you finished uh, college, what did you do to kill time? I've been making a lot of music on my dad's old laptop. Most of it is starting uh, something, getting a new idea, and then having a bunch of half finished projects. Uh, kill time. Um, I think I told the story before. But I'll tell it again, right? After I finished my last exam, right? university, five years of university, co op honors program, math minor, I worked my ass off. Last effing exam I wrote, go back, go book, go big, go big. Thank you for the follow. When I finished my last exam of my university life, right? Ah, happy as big smile from here to here. I know I've got the degree. It's a done deal. Like, and some of it very well, right? Thinking about doing masters, but not seriously, right? I'm walking towards my residence, right? I was living in one bedroom apartment residence. It was supposed to be for married people, but we got in somehow. <laughs> Paperwork, bureaucracy. Bureaucracy is stupid, right? It's not intelligent. You can just work around it, right? walking back to the apartment i'm done i was actually flying out the next day right coming back to vancouver i was in ontario i'm walking through a parking lot of a sort of a strip mall right that's right across the street from my apartment and i run into this person my mentor one of my greatest teachers ever that I work with doing a co-op term, geophysics co-op term, doing geophysics. And he turns to me, Chicho. I go, oh, my God. I'll say his name, Mark. Oh, how you doing? With Chad? He goes, oh, what are you doing? I go, oh, I just finished my last exam. I'm flying out tomorrow, just going to the apartment. Just uh, just to chill. I'm happy. Was... Happy? <laughs> right? He goes, oh, fantastic. Give me your resume. I'm like, what? He goes, listen, I just started a geophysics department in this international uh, geoengineering company. Right? International geoengineering company. He just started the geophysics department in it. And he goes, I just started this and you're hired. Right? Because he's worked with me. He knew what I was capable of. Right? And I said, dude, like, I don't even have a resume together. Right? He goes, he go, he goes I, don't, I don't care. Like, I'm the head of the geophysics. I'm, I'm it. I just started this. I'm the only one. We're expanding. You're hired. You're it. I go, look, I don't even have a resume. He goes, I don't care. Just go to, there's a, there was a place at the time called Kinko's. You know, everyone didn't have printers and stuff like this. It was expensive, right? Printer, a printer, laser printer. I bought one of these when I was doing comic book publishing. It cost like $2,000 at the time. Scanner would cost you around $1,500, 2000 So everybody didn't have all this equipment. You have to go to a center to do word processing and print shit out and stuff like this, right? He says, just go over there and put a resume together and just give it to me, right? Here's your address, right? He goes, drop it off. I said, oh, man, I just finished an exam, like, now, my brain is a little mush, right? I don't feel like putting together a resume, but I said, okay, I'll do it for you, Mark. Because I love the guy. He, he's, he's like, he was an amazing human being, right? So I went there, typed out a resume, typos and shit, dropped it off for him, went home, packed, flew out the next day, right? Long story. Two and a half months later, or no, a half, month and a half, two months later, I was in San Francisco, and I talked with my father. He goes, "Oh, Chicho, listen, this guy's looking for you." He was in Vancouver. I go, "Oh, what was his name is Mark? Blah, blah, blah. He's a number." So I called him up from San Francisco. And I go, "Hey, Mark, what's up?" He goes, "Listen, what the hell? <laughs> you gave me a resume. I told you you're hired. I can't find you for two and a half months. Where, the, where the f are you?" I go, "I'm in San Francisco." He goes, what the, what the F are you doing in San Francisco? Get back to Ontario. You're, the job's there. You're hired. What the f Get back here. I go, look, dude, I'm not in. Like, I got, I got stuff going on, personal stuff, like, important. He goes, I, he goes, I don't care. Like, get back here. I got projects waiting for you to go out to do them. I'm like, dude. He goes, no. <laughs> he 
<laughs> you gave me a resume, you're hired. Like, get your ass there. So I said, okay, I go, listen, okay, I got to take the bus back. And I got to fly. He goes, when can you be here? I go, when do you need me? He goes, fuck, look in the day after I said oh, you're hired. Yesterday I needed you. A week ago I needed you. I go, okay, look, I think about it. It'll take me a week to get there. He goes, no, 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 no. I go, okay, look, give me like four days to get back. Like, seriously. And I got, you know, took a bus back. What is a red eye bus? Brutal. San Francisco to Vancouver. Oh, nastiness, right? And then I flew back to Ontario and started working, right? Reading, sorry, this is a long way to answer your question, Felix. Uh, Felix asked, uh, Chicho, when you finished college, what did you do to kill time? I've been making a lot of music on my dad's old laptop. Most of it is starting uh, something, getting a new idea, and then having a bunch of half-finished projects. Uh -huh. For me, I had about a month and a half without going hard, two months without going hard. When I got back to Ontario doing geophysics, I didn't have to kill time. I was working anywhere between 60 to 90 hours a day. I was getting about three, four hours in the sleep a night. I, I was, it was fantastic. Loved it. It was powered learning, right? I learned more in one year of working than I would have done 10 years of going to university, right? So I just worked my ass off and I loved it. And I flew around, flew around all over Canada and it was amazing. And I continued that for a decade. Elder God. Cigar Room with Julian Assange. 